What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. I've been working pretty hard on trying to departmentalize our learning. So to departmentalize our learning, today we're going to talk about one thing and one thing only. That is the electric shaver. Which electric shaver I use and how do I use it? So one of the first things you need to know about using the electric shaver is we need to pre-cut the hair. Pre-cut the hair down to a 5-0 length. That's going to leave the hair around 0.17 of one millimeter. That's just about as short as you could possibly make it with the machine before you move on to the electric shaver. When we move on to the electric shaver, one thing to keep in mind is we want to keep the distance in length that we're going to jump very small. So jumping from a 0.17 to skin is actually a pretty small jump. It's actually pretty easy. So after we've pre-cut the hair down with either a trimmer or a 5-0 blade on your detachable, both of which are going to get you close, now the next step we're going to need to take is we're going to need to stop just a little bit before we get to that line. So if you see that that line is up here, maybe we want to stop about a quarter inch or a finger's width before and begin releasing our tension. So let's get into the first example. All right, so let's, let's work this side out. Let's blend this out and uh, we'll make it perfect. So I'm going to take them all the way down at the very bottom, holding it flat. I want both. I want both of these to hit and the center. I want everything to hit because it's going to remove this really quickly at no discomfort to him. And this is one of the most skin friendly machines you can use. It's, it's a ton of customers that I have that get skin fades again because these, these don't cause the bumps. So I really love this machine. And for anybody out there who might be watching this, who quit getting skin fades because they kept getting uh, ingrown hairs or bumps or suedo fediculosis barbare, you, you can try it again with this machine and it, you might actually, it might actually work out. All right, so now I'm getting, I've got all this done. Now I'm gonna get closer to the line, right? And I'm gonna tip this on an angle using only one side of the corner. And I'm gonna tip this on an angle using only one side, one of the rails, and I'm gonna begin flicking up and out. And it's really important that you do this step correctly because the rest of your blend will depend on this. Like if you decide to run this straight into the line that you made, you're gonna set yourself up for failure because your trimmer's not gonna be able to get the line out and neither will your clothes taper. So set yourself up for success, stop a little bit lower, flick out. You can also come down with the grain in a particular difficult spot. You can use just the corner. You can slide it back and forth. You can just tap it. These are all good techniques that you can use to get it you know, down as close as you can. If you are using the Andis, you can actually, you can actually find that, that the top rail is a little bit higher than the bottom rail. So if you are using the Andis, you can tap and come down with it especially because the andis is gonna cut you a little bit closer. It's gonna bust through that hair, and it's very easy to create another line with this. So as you get closer to the top of this line, with these, I typically tend to come kind of down and sort of really release that tension, but essentially the step is exactly the same. So just follow your step work. Once you've got a really good, smooth blend going all the way around, this, this step is important. Make sure that you don't see any lines. Make sure that you don't see any issues and clean up whatever you need to clean up. And only then should you move on uh, to the next step in the cut. Okay, you guys, I hope that really clears up any mystery you might have had about the electric shaver. This is definitely one of the areas that a lot of you guys are having issues. It's one of the areas that you can go wrong in. And then that's going to cause you some issues when you try to blend out that harsh line. So in order to make that whole process move smoother, we need to make sure that we execute this step properly. Now, obviously, I'm sure you guys wanna learn a lot more about the rest of the blend, and of course, we're gonna do that in some other videos, but this is just something that you can refer back to if you ever struggle with this or if you ever need to learn any other techniques. I'm gonna run a couple examples of me using the electric shaver that might help you solidify your learning. Catch you guys in the next video, peace.
wait a minute, before you guys go, I wanna invite you to hit that bell, hit subscribe, and stick around because we're gonna go live all the time. It's far more interactive, it's a lot more intuitive, you'll learn a lot more, and uh, we'll go through this video and many others as we continue to grow. We build off each lesson from the last week, so don't miss out on that opportunity. It's free, it's fun, and we're gonna have a good time and a lot of guests, and we do giveaways. So I encourage you guys, hit subscribe. Other than that, man, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.